we're talking about the Excalibur N5 or Navy 5-inch uh, projectile that was that is an outgrowth from the Army program, the Excalibur 1D, which is in full rate production today. Uh, Excalibur has been fired in combat by the Army, the Marine Corps, and some of the United States allies close to 800 times uh, supporting our troops in combat. So we have a very proven track record of performance, of long range accuracy and reliability. And we want to bring those same capabilities to the Navy. And so with Excalibur N5, we have a projectile that will more than triple the maximum effective range of the Mark 45 five inch gun system on destroyers and cruisers in the U.S. Navy today. But that same gun system is aboard many international partners destroyers as well. And so we have a real opportunity to dramatically increase the capability of our navies, both in providing surface fire support or land attack type of mission to support Marines uh, and land forces going ashore, but also we're working on seeker technology that would enable an anti-surface warfare mission set for this projectile, which is of critical importance to the United States Navy. I'll show you a video of a recent test we had at Yuma Proving Grounds in September of 2015, just a few months ago. In this video, you'll see two firings. The first is a, of an inert round, which means no live warhead in the round, but it was a guided flight demonstration. You see it leaving the Mark 45 gun system as it flies down range. The fins on the base deploy. And then you see this vertical angle of fall going against this target, which was just a pole in the ground. 32 inches of miss distance at more than 20 nautical miles. In our second shot, we fired a live warhead, also a guided shot at a boat in the desert and you see again this vertical angle of fall which maximizes the lethality of the warheads. And this projectile functioned in a height of burst or proximity fuse mode against this target. And that is likely the fuse mode you would use to attack these types of surface targets in a maritime environment. The, the uh, baseline projectile, if you will, the projectile that's in production for the Army today and the projectile that the Navy would use to support the Marines land attack or naval surface fire support would be the GPS guided variant of the projectile. However, to increase the probability of a successful engagement against a moving maritime target, it would be best to integrate a seeker into the projectile but maintaining the GPS guidance so you have a dual mode capability within the projectile. So we at Raytheon Missile Systems have worked on two different approaches. The first one was a laser seeker. So a, a platform designating a target with a laser would guide the projectile in. That's very um, useful when targets have relocated from point A to point B or against moving targets. But again, that would be mostly focused on land-based targets. That laser seeker would be the most ideal for those kinds of situations. The second seeker that we're looking, uh, that we're working on, is a millimeter wave seeker. Uh, without providing too much detail, but I can give you an indication of the performance. This kind of seeker would be best in adverse weather against moving targets at sea where you have a so-called fire and forget capability. And this will allow the naval force to address a swarm of enemy fast attack craft or fast inshore attack craft and fire very rapidly at these incoming boats. Both seekers can be integrated into the front end of this projectile and be used in both the Army projectile and the Navy projectile because this front end, this guidance and navigation unit is common between the Army and the Navy projectiles. So we get to reuse a lot of the technology that was developed by the Army. Uh, now I can move through from front to back on the projectile to describe what you're seeing. So again, the front end 
of the projectile. That's your guidance and navigation unit. And inside the front, the very front, you have the height of burst sensor or the proximity sensor, which you saw in the video against that boat, we were in the height of burst or proximity mode. You see the control actuation system. These canards deploy uh, at the apogee of the, of the uh, trajectory and start to guide the projectile in flight to its target. And that could require a very significant maneuver to reach its target in the case of a moving target. And this projectile is very maneuverable. It's very capable of um, offset firing or changing its direction. Further on, you're getting into the warhead section of the projectile. And finally, at the end, you have the base. These fins deploy after firing, as you saw in the video, and in, co in cooperation, if you will, with the canards at the front, stabilize the projectile in flight. So with Excalibur N5, we do more than triple the maximum effective range of the projectile of the gun today, but we also provide this combat-proven accuracy of less than two meters miss distance at all ranges. We're excited about this opportunity to bring to the United States Navy, but also to many of our naval partners around the world.